all of you see children question number 11th here i think we have done last class krishna yes sir this question we have done in last class uh, yes, yes sir. sir we have yeah done sir okay once again you do very fastly after this question we'll start again total surface area of right circular slant height so this is your cone cone in which you are having l is equals to 13 cm and your total surface area is given total surface area is 90 pi cm square so tsa formula is 2 pi uh, sorry tsa formula is pi r l plus pi r into l plus r right pi r into l plus r is equals to 90 pi so pi pi will get cancelled pi pi get cancelled l value already you know so we can write here l in bracket 13 plus r is equals to 90 correct so we are getting it as r into 13 that is 13 r plus r square is equals to 90 and we can write r square plus 13 r minus 90 is equals to 0 we have bifurcated right this one we have bifurcated right akshat yeah sir you are understanding if you are not understanding please tell let me know if any steps if you are having doubt because okay, if you know sir. the formula you can do it i'll just tell you only one concept here in this question we are using only one formula that is you remember tsa of cone is pi r into l plus r okay yeah sir so pi all of you on the camera akshat sai charan what happened to you sir no sir sai charan sir on your camera sir yes the next akshat today what happened to you uh one minute sir so next we can write here r square what we can uh, bifurcate krishna sir we can write it as r into r plus 8 into pi into no, no, r no. plus 8 i'm asking only bifurcation part you tell me plus 13 r bifurcation only yes, r square uh, plus 8x plus 5x minus 90 8x uh, minus 8x you should write right what you should write here uh, minus 90 how it will come minus 90 say <laughs> so 8x and uh, 5x sir 8 5 or 40 will come no how 90 will come 90 we should get right krishna Yes, sir. See, product is minus ninety and sum is plus thirteen. That you should see. See, no. Product is minus ninety r square and sum is plus thirteen r. What will come, Nihar? Sir, eighteen and minus five. Yes, eighteen and minus five. So plus eighteen r and minus five r. You have to write and minus ninety is equals to zero. See, you have to write here plus eighteen r and minus five r. So r is common, r plus eighteen. Five is common, r plus eighteen is equals to zero. So r is equals to will get five and minus eighteen. So minus eighteen is not required. So radius we got it as five centimeter. Again, now we have to find volume. The volume is equals to pi r square h. So pi is twenty two by seven. Radius square is five into five, and height is what is height over here? Height we have to find by l and r, right? So h is equal so to. So they have asked to take pi as three point one four. Okay, ha, huh, three point one four we can take. So if you solve this, you'll get twelve. So I'm just taking that only. What you are saying here, three point one four. 3.14 into 5 into 5 into 12. Sir, three is also there. One by three is also there. No volume of cube. Ah, one by three. Yes. One by three. The three fours are twelve. So the answer is three one four. Three one four centimeter cube. Is it clear to everyone? Last time we have done this question. Okay. Anyway, now we are going to do question number next. So let's go to next question. Anyone having doubt? Akshat, it's clear to you now. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Any if you are having small doubt, you please ask. Yeah, sir. Because this is new for you. If you don't know the formula, it's a bit difficult to everyone who is not knowing the formula and concept. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So question number twelfth is like. The area of base of conical solid. The area of the base of conical solid is thirty eight point five centimeters square, and its volume is one fifty four centimeter cube. Akshat, your camera is working, right? Yeah. So don't off your camera. See what I'm saying here. From basic concept, what we are getting from the Question: We are trying to write here. Area of the base. Base means your circle. Okay, Akshat. So area of circle. Area of base is what we can write. Formula of area of circle is pi r square. Okay, Akshat. Yes, yeah, sir. So area of base is given thirty eight point five is equals to pi r square means twenty two by seven into r into r. So R square, if you want to write, what will write? Thirty-eight point five into seven divided by twenty-two. Is it clear to everyone, children? Yes, sir. So R square, you just cancel here. Eight five eleven. It will go by uh, which table? This will go. One hundred twenty-two. This is going by any table? Sir, our radius is three point five. How we got? How we can cancel this? Sir, uh, by eleven. Eleven, this will get cancelled. Eight minus eight zero. Yes. So eleven twos are twenty two. The three point five will get here. So three point five means uh, you can write what? Seven into zero point five, right? Into seven divided by two. Correct. Again, for this point, if you want to remove, this will come ten over here down. So for ten, we can write five into two. Okay. So five five get cancelled. So answer is what? R square. If you are you want, you write here seven by two because everything is repeated twice. Seven is two times, and two is also two times, right? So seven by two that is three point five centimeter. Anyone having doubt in this radius part? Radius. No, okay. Now volume is given 154 centimeter cube. So volume is equals to 1 by 3 pi r square h. And we have to find here find the curve surface area of solid. So CSA of solid is nothing but pi r l. So how see pi we know r also we know. So l we have to find now. So if you find l here, how to find l? If you know h. So H will get from here. Second equation. So volume is equals to we can write it as volume is equals to one by three pi twenty two by seven radius is three thirty five by ten. We can write again thirty five by ten into what is the height we have to find and volume is given one fifty four. So H is equals to one fifty four. Into three into seven into ten into ten, whole divided by twenty-two into thirty-five into thirty-five. Is it clear to everyone? So what we have done? What is down here? That all thing we sent up here, and what is up here? That we sent it down. Okay. Now we start cancelling. Twenty-two sevens are. I just cancel by some. Twenty-two sevens are one fifty-four. Seven fives are thirty-five. Again, seven fives are thirty-five. Five twos are ten. Again, five twos are ten. So we get height is equals to twelve centimeter. So if you know here R and H, if you know R, and if you know H, 
we can find l now so l is equals to root over h square plus r square so h square is 12 square plus 3.5 square so root over 144 plus 12.25 so 156.25 you will get so answer what you will get nihar sir 12.5 12.5 if you take out root children okay if you if you cannot find the, the root answer, and sir answer is 137.5 answer is 137.5 let me check oh yeah yes, sir, I'm getting that. 137.44 is given okay fine so children we make one note if you are having doubt in finding roots and all just let me you can ask separately not a problem okay so this answer is 12.5 so please raise the hands if you are having doubt to finding this root so 22 by 7 into 35 by 10 into 125 by 10. See, I'm just removing the root point from here. If here the point is given, that point I removed and put here 10. 12.5 is there. After removing this point, this 10 is coming. Okay. So now next 7 5s are 35. Again, 5 2s are 10. Again, 5 2s uh, are 10. And 25 5s are right. 2, 11. So now 25 into 11, or you can write 25 into 11 divided by 2, the 5.5. What answer are you getting? 134.5, right? 134.5. 137. So just multiply here, you may get one that only. 137, just check. 137.5 centimeter square is it clear children to everyone yeah sir yes sir so first we find radius then we find height after finding radius and height radius and height a after finding radius and height we got it as l l is equal to 12.5 so we're putting the values pi r and l we'll get the answer as 137.5 next question is question number 13th See, the next question is a vessel in a form of inverted cone. The vessel is just like ulta cone, okay? The vessel is just like ulta cone, it will be like this, okay? Just see here, this is your inverted cone. Is filled with water to the brim. What is brim, Akshat? You know brim? What is brim? No, sir. Brim means till top. Till top is filled. Okay. Water is filled till top. Its height is 32 centimeter. Height from here to here. That is 32. 32 centimeter. Hey, chota aja bhai. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'll close and open. It's not open. Sir, could you show the question? Mm -hmm. One minute. It's got deleted actually. One minute. I just 
close it was not opening no that's why i just you can see now yes so height of this cone h is equals to 32 centimeter diameter of the base means you can write radius radius is 25.2 divided by 2 so what you'll get uh, 14 12.6 right 12.6 you get centimeter this is the radius is given and your height is given we can find l also if you want so next what they're asking six equal solid cones are dropped into it see small cones are there like this okay how many cones are there six cones six cones are going to drop into this bigger cone this is your bigger cone and now we are going to put six small cones inside the bigger inverted cone okay so that they are fully submerged as a result what is happening result is after submerging what is the result one fourth of the water one fourth of water overflows is it clear children what question is they are asking understood yes, so what so what is the volume of each of the solid cone submerged what is the volume of each of the solid cones submerged one thing once again i'm repeating the question this is your bigger cone which is in which water is filled up to the brim okay in this bigger cone we are going to put small small cones inside is how many cones we are going to put six cones we are going to put inside this after putting these small cones result is one fourth of the water flown out one fourth of the water flows out it means that volume of volume of six cones six small cones is equals to what one by fourth volume of water. what huh what sir so what's the answer inverted cone answer you want one minute one minute i just want to confirm answer is Two to one point seven six. Okay, sir. You got no, sir. I got different. Hmm. So this children, this what I've written in red color. All of you understood this point. Volume of six cones is equals to one by four of volume of inverted cone. You understood or not? Yes, sir. Even I have done that only. Akshat, sir, how is it one by four? Because here they have given water is flown out. No, one fourth water is flown out. If you are going to put the a small cone inside this inverted cone, so what is the volume of these six cones? These six cones are there. No, these six cones, right? So that that volume will be equal to what? One fourth of that. See, given no, one fourth of water flows out. Yeah. One fourth of the water is flowing out means what? That is the volume of a inverted cone. It's clear. Yeah, sir. So how many cones yes, you are putting yes. inside? That much water will flow out. That's why here in volume of six cones is equals to. The answer one... is two twenty one point seven six. I don't know. One minute again. I'm just seeing that two twenty one point seven six. Yes, I divide. I forgot to divide it by six. So you okay. do all that one. Okay, fine. Now volume of six cones. What we can write here? This cone is given anything. So volume of six cones, we don't know, right? So one by four into volume of inverted cone, one by three pi r square h. So one by four into one by three into 22 by seven into radius, that is 12.6, 126 by 10 into 126 by 10 into height is 32. This much only you have done, Nihar? And one more thing is there. One more thing here they are asking volume of each cone. So suppose here there is six cones is there, no? 
or you can write here one more thing 6 into volume of one cone can we write like this children sir or else we can find for six cones and then divided by yeah that i'm saying the volume of each cone you write here in bracket and six is there no this six you can divide here like this one by six you can write correct so volume of each cone is equals to one by six i did from my side it's clear why you are writing one by six here is it clear to yes, everyone sir. homika it's clear right yes sir side it wick why am yes sir why i'm dividing by six is clear to you because yes. there are six cones the one cone if i want to find the one by six into one by four one by three twenty two by seven is clear akshat what i'm writing here yeah sir now i'm just writing here once again the c seven one just seven seven eight is a fifty six again uh four four eight is a thirty two four eight is a 32 6 3 is 18 now all of you multiply 22 into 3 66 into 8 8 6 is 48 4 8 6 is 48 and 4 52 why tunnel is coming 1 2 5 we are doing somewhere mistake sir actually yeah. you can cancel that 3 sir so this 3 Ah, this 3 and this 3 get cancelled, right? Achha, here 126 we are not seeing only, right? One minute. So, what we have to multiply here? 22 into 126 into 8, right? So, I am just going to multiply by the help of calculator. That, that is 22 into, 20, no, 22 into 8. 176 right into 126 22.176 22 point sorry 22176 and we have to put zero over here okay. 221 is it clear to everyone children anyone having doubt any part of it so once again you just try to understand where you might not might be not getting see one by six you might be difficult right because here volume of each cone i have mentioned and six cones are there so we have to divide by six okay so one by six into one by four into one by three twenty two by seven anywhere feeling difficulty try it quick no difficulty sir Akshat, you are getting. Sir, how did we get 22 by 7? 22 by 7 is the value of pi. This is the value of pi, Akshat. Oh, pi is okay. This value of pi is 22 by 7. Remember, 22 by 7 is the value of pi, or you can write 3.14. Okay. Yes. Next question number, question number 14th. Now we do. The volume of conical tent is 1, 2, 3, 2 meters square. The volume of conical tent is, so you can write here volume is how much? 1, 2, 3, 2 meter to the power 3. Okay. Area of the base floor is 154 meters square. So area of the base floor means area of the circle part, right? Is equals to how much? 154 meters square. Calculate the radius of the full. What you have to find is right here. Radius, we have to find question mark. Radius, question mark. Height of the tent, question mark. Length of the canvas used to cover the tent. Width, uh, if its width is 2 meter. So, canvas is like a cloth. Okay, children. Canvas is like a cloth. Width is 2 meter is given over here. 
width is 2 meter so this length we have to find okay so length of the canvas required to cover so length of the conical so length of the canvas we have to find so we'll go one by one okay so volume is one two three two so formula of the volume is one by three pi r square h so i'm going to step very very easy steps right now just so radius, is seven, uh, so radius is seven height is 24. radius is seven height is 24. 24. okay now find the area of canvas canvas length yes, of the canvas yes, sir, i'm doing that okay I got 275 meters, sir. 275 meters you got? Okay, fine. Yes. Sai Charan. Oh, yes, if, if you're getting a small this thing also, time you just off the camera, no? Uh, no. Satvik, what happened to you? Yes, sir. Length is 275. Satvik. Now see volume of is I'm just writing here one by three pi r square h is equals to one two three two. Now area of the circle is given pi r square is equals to one fifty four. The pi r square value is already given here, so we can write one by three. Now children here see you may have doubt here pi r square value we can get it from here. All right. We are substituting this value. This is second part. This is the first equation. Now pi r square we're getting from here. See this value we are getting from here. So we can write here 154 into h is equals to uh, one three. How, how are we getting it? See pi r square is there. No area of the circle is given, right? Area of the base is given in the question. See here in the question area of the base is 154. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So this base area is 154 meter square. The same thing we are putting instead of pi r square. Now h is equals to what we can write? 1, 2, 3, 2 into 3 divided by 154. So uh, this will go by which table? 8 it will go. This will go by 8. The so height is equals to 24 meter. Is it clear till here to everyone? Radius of the floor now, the radius of the floor. How to find radius now? From the second equation, right? See, pi Sir, value is... I didn't understand how did we get 24 meters. See, in, one, in 154 table, I'm just writing here 8. The 8 threes are 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cancel by 2 also. Any table you just try to cancel, you'll get 24 only. 8 into 3, that is 24 meters. Now see, we are finding radius. So 22 by 7 into R square is equals to 154. So R square is equals to 154 into 7 divided by 22. So 22, what will come? This will go by which table? 7. So R is equals to 7. This is clear, Akshat? Yes, yeah, sir. So radius you understood. Height also you understood. Now we have to find length of the canvas. So how to find length of canvas? See, what is what is the length of canvas? Tell me, Krishna. 275. How we are getting 275? That I'm asking. Sir, this uh, ln2. H is equal to L minus L square minus R square. Root L square minus R square. Root L square minus R square. That, that one you are finding. Okay. How you find? Uh, Nihar? Yes, sir. How you have find length? Sir, what of the cone or the canvas? No, canvas. Can. We have to find canvas length, cone only. No, length. That only, right? No, sir, you have to find the cone length also, no? Because we need the CSA of the cone. Yeah, CSA of the cone. CSA of the cone is equals to? Pi R L. Isn't... Pi R L. Okay. Then? Sir, then I found the length. Length is uh, 25. Our radius is, uh, radius is 7 and then I equated and I got a, then the total, then I equated the CSA with length into breadth, which is also. L is equal to understood. Now, how to get 25? All of you, you know this, right? 
L we get 25 by this formula. Pythagoras formula L is equals to what? 25. Put here 25. So 7, 7 will get cancelled, right? Or once again, I'm just writing here one minute. I raise this. Wait, wait for one minute. I'm just letting this will be x, x meters we have to find. I'm not writing here because you'll get confused. I'm writing here x, x meters v. This is x meters, okay? So, so I did this uh, CSA with the x into 2 and then I got the answer. Yeah, so CSA of the CSA of the cone is nothing but this area that is length into 2, right? You are getting all of you. This by the help of cone how we are making by the help of this cloth only we are going to make this cone okay so csa part only we are using because we have to tent is only this part we are not getting we don't want this one right so csa of the cone is equals to area of this canvas so pi r l is equals to x into what 2 x into 2 so pi is 22 by 7 radius is 7 what is l 25, 25 x into 2 7 7 cancelled then x is equal to 22 into 25 divided by 2 11 then what will get 275 275 meters of cloth is required 275 meters of canvas is required is it clear here? This is only very important part. Why CSA is X into 2? This is only mainly you should remember. You should understand here itself. Okay. Anyone who is having doubt, Akshat, is clear to you? No, I, I don't think you, this is clear to you. Right, Akshat? Yeah, Dipshikha, Dipshik, it's clear what I've written here. Yes, sir. Kulastya. So can you explain it once again? You are having doubt in this part only, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm just going down. I was telling once again. So many children will not understand what is actually the, th the question is asking. See, first of all, try to understand here. This is your conical tent. We have to uh, make this conical tent by the help of canvas. This is the canvas which you are going to use on the CSA part only. Okay. We have to use in CSA part. Because ground floor, ground part is your made up of mud and all, right? Soil will be there, no? So no required here. This is here. There is no required of canvas. All right, children. So CSA of the cone, how much area you're coming of this CSA part? That is the only area of this rectangle. Is it clear, Bhumika? Sir. So by the help of this cloth only, we are going to make this CSA of cone. Is this clear now? Yes, sir. So what we have to do is curved surface area is nothing but area of rectangle understood or area of canvas you can write area of rectangle so area of uh, csa is nothing but pi r l is equals to x into 2 hope you understood now right yes sir. anyone is still having doubt in this sairitvik diksha no doubt sir diksha Okay, next question is. Okay, now we are going to uh, start a sphere one. Okay, you know, a sphere. What is sphere? A sphere question we are going to do now. Okay. So I'm just changing here exercise name that is 20C. I'm writing now. 20c and I'll write here sphere. See, first of all, all of you just try to understand who are uh, doesn't know about the sphere. Remember here, just write down volume of the sphere. This is like a ball. Volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. CSA and TSA, this both are same only. There is because there is 4 pi r square. Okay. Yes, sir. Huh? 
R cube. CSA you are saying CSA part. Uh, Krishna CSA area is always square only. Okay, it's not cube. Remember, four pi. This is two dimensional. No, the two R is coming in area, right? In three dimensional, three times will come. So a surface area of the sphere is four two four six four. Find its volume. So for volume, what is the formula for volume? Four by three pi r cube. If you don't draw the radius only, we can't find the volume. So this is the hint given to us. So from the first part, we can find the radius. The surface area of the sphere is equals to uh, 4 pi r square is equals to 2, 4, 6, 4. So 4 into 22 by 7 into r square is equals to 2, 4, 6, 4. R square is equals to 2, 4, 6, 4 into 7 divided by 4 into 22. 22 table. This is 14. Okay, 14 is coming. All right. Yes. So 22 ones are 22. Then 2 will come again. 22 ones are 22. Then 4 twos are. Okay. Then 4 twos are 8. 3. Four eights are ninety six. Uh, so seven. See, twenty eight into seven is coming, right? R square. Again, we can just we can write seventy eight. Twenty eight. What we can write? Seven into two into two into seven. So R is equals to one pair of seven. This pair is so R is what fourteen centimeter. All of you got the answer? Yes. Sir. 14 into 14 into 14. 7 to get 14. Because see, uh, here r square is there, no? So if you're finding r, we have to make pair over here. The so 7 and 7 yeah. will be only one you should time you should write, okay? That is only 7. 2 and 2, only 2 you should write. The so 7 to the 14. Yeah, I got it. So if you're getting any square, we have to try to make it a pair. Because see, one small example I'm giving to you. Root 4, what we're writing? 2. Why? Because root 4, you can write 2 into 2. So this becomes pair. So answer is 2. It's clear to you? Yes, yeah, sir. So now we just solve here now. So 7 to the 14. And then anything, you can't cancel this. You can't cancel, right? No, sir. So answer is coming 11498.67, right? One one four nine eight point six seven. You are getting the same answer. Yes, sir. Diksha, what are you speaking at home? Something you are telling. Hmm? Nothing, sir. Sorry. I'm not telling to off the camera. You can on. But see here itself. Answer something. You're not responding at all. Hmm? So question number two. Volume of the sphere is three double eight zero eight centimeter cube. Find its diameter and surface area. You have to find diameter and so all of you try once. Find the diameter means you have to find radius. Surface area means 4 pi r square. If you know radius, we can find everything. So how to find radius? This is the hint for us. Okay. So 4 by 3 pi r cube is equals to 38808. So 4 by 3, 22 by 7, r to the power 3 is equals to 38808. Akshat is clear with understanding or not? Yes. Sir. Only two formula you are using Akshat. It's not new for you now. This is new concept what I started. This is that volume of sphere 
and this is a CSA of SPL. The only two formulas are there, okay? So now R to the power three is equals to three double eight zero eight into three into seven. Whole divide by four into twenty two. What is down? We are sending up three and seven is down. We have sent up here. And what is up that we are sending down? This four and twenty two, we have sent down. Can we cancel by 22? This will go by 22. 11 table, this will go. 8, 8, 16, 16, 3, 19. 19 minus 8, 11. Yeah, this will go by 11. 11, 2s are 22. 11, 3s are 33. 5, 5s are 55. 3, 2s are 22. 8, 8s are 88. Okay. Now this will go by 4. 4, 8, 8s are 32. 3, 8s are 32, 4, 2s are 8. Now 2, 4, 4, 1. So 4, 4, 1 into 21 you do. 4, 4, 1 into 21. 4, 4, 1, 8, 8, 2. So 9, 2, 6, 1. Right? So 9, 2, 6, 1. Hey, why I'm multiplying this much? I don't know. I am just fine. Simply I'm going multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. So 41, we can write it as what? 41, we can write it as uh, 21 into 21, right? 21 into 20 is 441 only. Into 3 into 7, correct? See, 441 here can be written as 21 into 21. And then 21 can be written as 3 into 7 each. Yes, yes. 21 again can be written as 3 into 7 into 3 into 7 into 3 into 7. So, so if, R is 21. If everything is repeated 3, 3 times. 3 times and this one is 2 times and 3 times this one also. So this is R to the power 3. If we write R, Akshat see here, power 3 is there. No, so we have to make 3, 3 pairs. So how much pairs? 1, 2, 3. So we are writing here 3. 7 is 1, 2, 3 times, so into 7. So R is equals to 21 centimeters. Clear, Akshat? Yes, sir. If a square was there, we're making 2, 2 pairs. If cube is there, we're making 3, 3 pairs. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyone got the answer of surface area also? So diameter is nothing but 2 times of radius. So 2 into 21, that is what? 42 centimeter is the radius. Sorry, uh, 42 centimeter is the diameter. Radius is 21 centimeter. Now put the uh, value of radius. So 4 into 22 by 7 into 21 into 21. 7 3s are 21. So now you can find, you can multiply and get the answer all of you. I'm just using calculator 22 into 4 into double 63. Five, double, five. double 5, double 4. 5, 5, 4. Centimeter square. Yes. So anyone having difficulty anywhere? Sir, I didn't understand a bit like the, the R cube. This one? No, the up oh. one. Here? Drop. Yeah. See, R cube is here. Is you can see here R cube. Yeah, sir. So if you're writing R cube, so everything you should send on the right hand side. See, this whole part you should send to right right hand side. Okay. So what I told you can see the pink one here. That pink one we have to send up. See, I've sent here up three and seven, right? You can see pink one which is mentioned down. See here, 3 and 7 is a pink color. 3 and 7. You can see. Yeah, sir. That I've sent up numerator side. This will be a division, no? So this will go up. See, 3 and 7. Understood or not? Yeah, sir. That I've written here on the numerator side. 3 and 7. Again, 4 and 22. We're just writing down. Because it's up, no? So we're writing down. Is it clear to you now? Yes, sir. Now we have started cancelling. And after cancelling, we are getting here 441 into 3 into 7. So 441 can be again written as 21 into 21 into 3 into 7. 
again 21 can be written as 3 into 7 3 into 7 3 into 7 so we got 21 it's clear now anyone please ask questions if you are having doubt and all okay no one is having doubt now so next question i'm just going to start question number third Spherical ball of lead has been melted and made into identical smaller balls with radius equal to half the radius of the original one. Spherical ball of lead, see, I'm just writing here a spherical one ball is there, spherical ball. This is spherical ball of lead. And this is going to melt, okay, into identical. Answer, answer is eight. Yes, sir. How fast you have 10? You know the question before or directly answer you told? Sir, I just solved it. Shortcut? Sir, I solved it. But I typed the, I means I just pasted the question right now only, right? Sir, there were no numbers, no, everything got cut. Achha, okay. The spherical ball of lead has been melted and made into identical smaller balls. See, smaller balls like this, okay? So we don't know how many smaller balls are there. We let it as X balls are there, okay? With radius equal to half the radius of the original one. Before it was R, or you can write 2R. That is better to use. So this become what? R radius. So here radius is R. Isn't R by 2? That is also you can write. I'm just first one, I'm just why I'm writing. It's easy to calculate, no? 2R and R. You can take R and R by 2 also, not a problem. Here radius I'm taking 2R, here I'm taking R. So, how much the small balls will be there? The volume of the bigger one. Suppose this is the volume of 1, this is volume of 2. The V1 is equals to what? V2. So, 4 by 3 pi, pi. R1 cube is equals to 4 by 3 pi R2, R2 cube. By two cube. Yeah, the 4 by 3, 4 by 3 will get cancelled. So it is equal to 8 R cube by 8. And R here, you sh here you should multiply by how much? X also. Because this is the volume of X balls, right? Yes. Yeah, so volume of bigger uh, spherical ball is nothing but equal to X number of uh, smaller balls. So R1 cube is we can write 2 R into 2 R into 2 R is equals to... Huh? One minute. So x is equal to eight numbers. Now you tell me your doubt. So it should be pi r four by three pi r two cube no sir. Yeah, we can square. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here cube, yes. Fine. Anyone still having doubt anywhere? Wait, let me just try it and type once again. Hmm? Speak what you're saying. Akshat, what happened to you? Nothing, sir. Time gone, that's why. Sairithvik, Diksha, you've not responded a single question, Diksha, today. Sir. Hmm. Tell me. So children here only understanding this part in this question you have to understand here only see 4 by 3 pi r1 cube 4 by 3 pi r2 cube and why we are multiplying by x this is the only main this so line why, no main. why did we cut them because they are equal on no? both sides equal yeah. so 4 by 3 is left hand side also 4 by 3 on right hand side also so what is equal that we are cancelling here 4 by 3, 4 by 3, pi, pi. We have to find the value of x here. So x is equals to 2 into 2 into 2. That is 8. Next question is question number 4. So this question is also very easy.
how many balls each radius 1 cm can be made by melting a bigger ball whose diameter is 8 so this is like similar question so one bigger ball is there this r1 that is radius is 8 cm okay so now we are making small small balls we don't know how many balls are there we just let x balls are there okay 512 uh, 512 so this radius is equals to what 1 cm so volume of the bigger one v1 and this we are writing v2 so v1 is equals to how much fv2 x v2 we can write volume of the bigger sphere is equals to x we don't know this x right so volume of this bigger one one minute huh. volume of this bigger one is equals to x into v2 so v1 is equals to 4 by 3 again same thing we are doing pi into r1 cube is equals to 4 by th x into x into 4 by 3 pi r2 cube then 4 pi here also cancelled same way so r1 cube what we can write 8 into 8 into 8 is equals to x into 1 How into 1 into r2 hmm. cube this is r2 only no yeah so 4 by 3 r2 cube right yeah yeah so x is equals to 5 8 into 8 into 8 8 cube is 5 1 2 so small balls are how many 512. Anyone having doubt, children? Anywhere? No. Now, question number fourth. Children, if you won't ask doubt, I can't understand who is understanding or not. Please I'm ask. Sure, sir. Anyone who is not. Huh? Sir, but here. Like the diameter is not the radius. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Very nice. See, one child understood here. We are, this is diameter here. So we have to use 4. So four, then it will be 64. Yes, correct. So we have to write here 4 into 4 into 4. So answer is 64. Because you have to write here R is equals to 8 centimeter, not 4 centimeter, you should write. So answer Sir, is 64. That is wrong, no? Because we are taking diameter. So diameter should not write, correct? So here, this is not radius. This is your diameter. It is diameter. So we have to write radius here, right? So radius is 4 centimeter. So answer is 64. Nice, Bhumika. Very good. Next question number, fifth one. Last question of the day. Fifth one we are doing now. So, 8 metallic sphere. Uh, each of radius 2 mm. See here, children, mm is given. Radius 2 mm. 8 metallic spheres are there. How many spheres? 8 are melted into cast in single sphere. So, volume of 8 metallic sphere is equal to what? Volume of single sphere. So, we have to calculate the radius of the new one. So, see, single sphere, right? V1 is there. For small sphere, right? V2. And each multiply here with 8. Because 8 metallic sphere is equal to how much? One big metallic sphere. Okay. Sir, 4 millimeter. 4 millimeter, you are saying? Yes, sir. I Yes, 4 mm is the correct answer. So, what we can write here? 8 into 8 V2 is equal to V1. So, 8 into 1 by 3. 1 by 3? No, sphere. Four, the sphere, right? The 4 by 3 pi r cube means r1 cube i'm writing here is equals to 4 by 3 pi r2 cube so now see both side 4 by 3 get cancelled now we can write here 8 into 2 into 2 into 2 is equals to r2 to the power 3 now we have to make two three three pairs right akshat here power 3 is there so we yeah. have to make three three pairs. So eight, what we can write for eight? Mm -hmm. Two into two into two. Again, two into two into two is equals to R2 cube. Now make pair here, three three pairs. So R2 is equals to 
4 mm i think it's clear to everyone right yeah sir. yes sir yes sir okay children that's the last question of the day tomorrow you. what you do just think and just do 20 questions based on this all every day when i'm doing at least 20 questions you have to do based on this topic if you're having doubt call me ask me drop the message if you're having any doubt in the question okay yes sir. okay children all of you can leave sir, now can thank you, you repeat it i couldn't hear the last thing you said i'm saying that 20 question try to do 20 questions and you have to send me on okay. whatsapp or you can do on wise up only anywhere just upload this 20 i if i ask you have to answer that okay based on surface and volumes you can do 20 sums so two for practice practice 20 sums it's clear plus there you have two yes. days today tomorrow and day after tomorrow till eight o'clock is it clear okay Hmm. Fine, children, all of you can leave now. Thank you. Thank you, sir.